Now, the forecast with Corn 6 meteorologist Sally Schulman. Good evening. Such a bummer the weekend is over, but it sure was nice while it lasted. And you know what? The nice weather will roll on all the way through this work week. Tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., when a lot of us are headed into work, 58 degrees. So it'll be a comfortable start to the day. Good idea to get your exercise in early because we're really heating up by afternoon. In fact, by noontime, I think we're well into the 70s for lunch. So a good day to eat lunch outside. A little breezy by 3 o'clock, 84 degrees by then. And we'll top out at about 88 degrees. So a degree or two warmer than we even were today. And I think inland, it'll be another cloud free day. We had clear skies even tonight. This is what the moon. Set looked like over the West Hills. We took this video about 20 minutes ago and watch as it goes across your screen. Isn't that beautiful? I hope you had a chance to look up and see the stars and the moon tonight. It is still close to 70 degrees out at PDX with west northwest winds 10 miles per hour. Winds have started to calm down since sunset. Sunset these days right before 9 o'clock, but we did have gusts close to 30 miles per hour around Portland. Look at these peak gusts in Oregon City, Salties on the Columbia. And then Rogers Marine also out there on the Columbia River uh, between about 20 and 30 miles per hour. So it felt quite breezy out there this afternoon. It will again tomorrow. 87 degrees was the high in Portland. We made it into the 90s in Salem and Eugene. More comfortable out at the coast. 60s there, 59 in Newport. And then east of the Cascades, look at all of those 90s. Baker City, 87 degrees. So a little cooler there, but 95 today in the Dalles. And tomorrow, equally as warm or warm. Warmer. You can see the clouds returning to the coast, so I think a lot of locations along the coast will wake up to some morning clouds. But the rest of us inland, clear skies now, and I think all the way through the overnight period, we've got a ridge of high pressure in control, and that will keep us beautiful all the way through the day tomorrow. Sunny skies from start to finish. Here's 7 a.m. The drive into work looks perfectly beautiful. Maybe a little sun glare if you're driving westbound early tomorrow morning. Here's 5 o'clock. Clear skies from the coast all the way through the Cascades and into eastern Oregon. Now, Tuesday could get a little interesting. I'm rolling all the way through the afternoon. Here's 5 o'clock in the evening. You can see potentially some thunderstorms firing up in the Cascades. Well, fast forward. This is 10 o'clock. At night on Tuesday, and potentially some showers or thunderstorms getting close to Portland. We're going to be monitoring that closely here in the Weather Center, uh, and so keep us tuned in. Even warmer tomorrow, wall to wall sunshine around Portland. Temperatures about 85 to 89 degrees on the west side of town, 89 in Clackamas, and 87 for those of you in Camas. And then up north, Salmon Creek, 86 ought to do it, Vancouver, 87. Areas of morning clouds out at the coast, a little cooler. Temperatures in the 60s there, 80s, and potentially 90s. 90s for the Willamette Valley. Sunny and hot east of the mountains, 90s and 80s there. Sunny and warm with light wind through the gorge tomorrow. No clouds in sight over Mount Hood. 77 at government camp, so beautiful day to be up hiking if you've got the day off work. More widespread 90s and potentially mountain thunderstorms on Tuesday. And then a few morning clouds on Wednesday morning. Afternoon sunshine, that ocean air makes its way inland midweek. So that's why we cool down a little bit, but I don't know if you can call 84 much of a cool down before rebounding into the upper 80s late week. Well, it sure feels like summer out there, I'll it tell you does. that. It does. And no end in sight today was the 18th dry day in a row. And the next seven looked dry, too. So go us, huh? Uh, all right. Thanks, <laughs> Sally.